this short video is for um, showing you how to uh, save your lab activity to show to the GATAs for uh, getting uh, your grade so uh, in terminal uh, you can just let me make it a little bit bigger so you can just go to your uh, space on the cs.uwinsor.ca and I recommend you to use ssh command with uh, dash y so you can uh, get the opportunity to use a graphical user interface for some applications uh, in here my user id is s summit so in depending on your user id you have to update this line and then it asks you uh, your password and then you enter uh, to your space on the cs server as you can see now uh, we are at the school of computer science server and in here now you can uh, first of all if you want you can see what you have in here we have uh, I have some folders uh, but the very first thing for your labs uh, I uh, ask you to create a folder uh, with the name of your course so it is better to have a folder for your for all your courses so for example you say uh, make directory mkdir and then a space and courses now you have this folder as you can see in here you have this folder so you go to this folder by using command cd or change directory a space the name of the folder and now you are in this folder you create a folder for your uh, course comp 1400 so you say make directory and you say comp 1400 now you have uh, the folder you go to this folder and then you create for every lab you should create one folder therefore I create a directory for lab 1 so I can create make directory lab 1 now I have this folder if you see if you run command ls you can see you are in lab 1 if you want to know the full uh, location that you have you can use command pwd you can see that you are in uh, comp 1400 inside courses inside your space so let's go to lab 1 again pwd so you are in lab 1 which is in comp 1400 which is inside courses in your space okay let's clear the screen and now uh, for instance you want to write your uh, program in C so one idea there are many ways to do that one idea is to use some editors but of course you might want to use some IDEs like Eclipse or other type of IDEs to generate your code but for simplicity I in here I use gedit which is a graphical editor and then for example I want to have uh, my first program for example I say hello world dot C and then enter uh, it takes a little bit and then provide you the graphical user interface uh, and the name of the file is hw.c now for example I start uh, typing my code for instance the very first line I indicate the standard uh, IO input output library to include in my program and then uh, I start writing my main function which is the entry point of the program uh, as you know uh, or even if we haven't talked uh, about it you will learn later on and then you start your code inside a pair of uh, curly braces 
for instance in here the, the only thing that I want to, to do is to just print out uh, some uh, strings say hello C for example uh, I am going to learn your language okay Uh, but I intentionally uh, create some uh, syntax or uh, uh, C gram grammar error. Uh, I just do not uh, type semicolon at the end to just show, show you something uh, later on. So I save the program and then I exit. Now I have this file. If you show what you have in here, can see you have this file now is the time to compile your code so you say GCC which is the name of the compiler for C programs and then indicate the name of your file this is the very first uh, and simple way of compiling program we show you uh, other options later on so if you see uh, it shows you some errors in here you have one error that it shows on line one, on line seven, column one, you have some error. Let's go back to the program to see what would be the error that we have to fix it. Again, I go to the editor. Then I realize that I forgot to uh, type semicolon at the end of printf command. Now I enter it, save it, and exit. Again, I compile the program now I have no error see there is there is no um, output means that there is no error and if I see what I have except the source code that I just created I have a dot out which is the default execution program for uh, the program that I just compiled so how do I run it I say dot slash and then the name of the file enter and it said hello C I am going to learn your language and end so let's make one more edit on the file uh, sorry go to the editor and then at the end I want to go to the next line to make it a little bit nicer so at the end I say backslash n save it and exit again I compile the code and I run the code so it shows the output and then exit to the command prompt so this is the uh, way that you uh, write and uh, compile and run your code then the next thing is to show uh, your work to uh, the GATAs for giving you mark how to do that the best way is to create some script after you create a script you can actually create a file the text file that you can show to the uh, grader to create your activity so in here uh, the only thing so let me clear the window and then uh, the very first thing is to run the command a script and then the name of the file that you want to create for example you say lab one dot text okay and then it said a script has started and the file that you create is lab one dot text from now on whatever you do will be recorded on that file so the very first thing is say clear and then you go to your file if you want to otherwise you can just show your file by using the cat command and then the name of your file hw.c so it shows you the uh, source code of your program and then you have to compile it for example you say gcc 
hw.c and instead of just running this compiler we add one option which is dash o and then a space and a name of the file that you want to create as execution file for this code so you say for example lab1 right dot out this means that when you compile it instead of creating a dot out you create lab one dot out so you compile your code no error now you have your file this is the source file and this is the executed file of course this is the script file that you are generating now let's run the program so you say dot slash lab one dot out and this is the output of your code and then you want to finish uh, recording to the script so you just click uh, you can just uh, type exit then you have this file if you go to uh, see what you have in here I have my uh, source file my executed file and also this is the script that you have to show to your TAGA if I just see the content of lab one dot text you can see you have the source code of your file and then uh, you just compile the code so you created the executed file there is no error for the compiler and then you run the program you have the output and finally exit from that so now you are ready to show you your THEA the, the script file and they can realize that you have done the lab activity properly thank you